You already know the sideline vlog. I'm back out here at Scott's Line. We're out here gonna check out Chaparral. We're gonna check out a couple schools. Which school are you most excited to check out? Desert Mountain, in my opinion. I wanna see what Coach Hamilton has got going on over there. Dang, he just skipped out on the home team. Anyways, we're gonna try to catch up with some of these guys over here at Shap Town and see what's cooking with the Firebirds. Oh yeah, uh, make sure that you guys subscribe to the vlog, JustChili.tv, and make sure that you follow me at just chili instagram twitter snapchat and uh zach what's your uh twitter handle uh so just that's zach alvira so z-a-c-h-a-l-v-i-r-a -A. pretty easy go give me a follow um he didn't know that i was gonna put that across the screen anyway so what's full speed look like over here at chaparral talk to me about some of these receivers everybody knows about uh tommy christakos but what about the rest of the guys jackson holmes he's super good super athletic great hands max minor he played for us last year too just another really good big target to throw to capri hamilton he's Super quick little. Fast hey, he's guy. one. He's one of my favorites. He's one of my favorites. Okay. I, I anticipate that he's probably gonna yep. get at least like 800 to 1,000 yards. Sure. Yeah. Also, you guys got that young kid, uh, Charlie Borowski. I know he's a 2022 sure. kid, but you know what have you seen from him? He's been balling out in practice, catching everything I throw to him for sure. Well, everybody's gonna be you know balling out because he can be throwing that ball a lot this year, like probably what, like 40 times a game. I hope so. Y'all gonna make it work. Hey, it's yeah, gas sure. pedal time here at no, Chapel. No. All right, man. So last year you have this breakout game for Saguaro. You become like a star like overnight, and all the media wants to talk to you like what was that experience like it was it was amazing it was just so like exciting seeing my name all over like social media and like it was just something i've never experienced before so it was just it was a blessing what's the experience like playing with jack miller you got the best quarterback in the country uh in that backfield with you but he wants to throw it everywhere yeah. you're really trusting him to give you these carries uh he's really cocky but um <laughs> but uh you know, I, I just put a lot of trust in him. Sometimes he'll just like, I'll walk into the line of like, oh, I'm running the ball. He goes, no, I'm pulling this and taking it all the way. I'm just be like, you know what? You do you, man. Like, it's just really nice having him there. All hey, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jerry Williams, the best running back in the class of 2021. You hear it here. You heard it here first. Let's go, baby. Wow. So when the best quarterback in the country takes a moment to interrupt your interview, that being that cocky, yeah. <laughs> what, what's it like when you let when he lets everybody know that you are the best it's, running back in the class of 21? It's amazing, man. He's he's such a good guy. You know, he's always putting people out there. It's just really nice. It's, I respect him so much. If Jack don't throw for 4K, I really think that you're a 2K type of back. back. And you got that Saguaro game circled, or is it just one game at a time? That's, what is it? I'm, I want that back. I want that run back. I really thought we could beat them this year. And now that I'm starting, I told you, they're going to feel me this year, man. For real. How excited are you for the season coming up? I mean, you get to be the leader now. Super excited. I mean, this is my year for sure. I'm looking to hit 2,000 yards, no doubt. No doubt in my mind. 2,000? Hey, we, we setting the bar already. Uh, my man already looking at that 2K. 2K. Might not be that hard with uh, Cade Bennett blocking for you. Oh, no, for sure. You follow that guy. That's, that's honey. That's 1,000 yards the easy way. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the young boy, uh, Gavin Smith. You know, he's a kid that I'm super intrigued by. His athletic ability is off the charts. Uh, he's definitely going to be a valuable player. Uh, he's a great player. He's still young. He's got a lot to learn. But coming as junior, even senior year, he's going to be great. All right, you guys haven't lost a regular season game in two years. Um, I'm just curious, besides the state championship, what are some of your goals this year? Don't lose. <laughs> We ain't gonna lose that's this a, year. That's a good goal. I, mean, I know that you were one of those uh, freshman 45 that got invited to ASU, got the offer. What, what's that like so early in your career, especially since your older brother had to wait so long? It was awesome, you know, it was totally unexpected. We were all just expecting like a little visit, maybe a workout, but they just took like 10 of us in a room and offered us, and it was amazing. What, what are some of your favorite things uh, from that recruiting trip? The coaches. I love the coaches, and the stadium seemed awesome. Now, a lot of people have the concern the idea that Herm Edwards is like your dad's coach. The way I see him, I don't think of that at all. I think the way they did last year, he proved himself and he's a great coach. And what was it about Oklahoma State that you know made you want to go there? Uh, you know, I'd been to many places before then. Um, coaches are just different there. And the, the cooking. Is different. And the food. The cooking, yeah. The food. Cooking, <laughs> cooking is top notch. What, what were some of the favorite things that you had over there while you were uh, on your visits and stuff? Probably some of the best barbecue I've ever had. Got some ever? ribs. Ever, yeah. Better than like Little Miss over here? Oh, or yeah. Something? What? Like some ribs. At Coach Gundy's house, we had some ribs and some cream corn. Good stuff. So the cooking was important to you, like the food and all that oh, stuff that you were going to eat? Because Big course. Fella got to eat. Big course. Fella got to eat. Besides <laughs> defensive tackles and defensive ends, you know, my man got to eat. What, what, how, how do you guys like set the bar so high over here at Notre Dame? You guys are at a Catholic school, uh, enrollment's limited, but you guys are undefeated two seasons in a row. Um, you know, I think we're just old of people uh, just overlooking us, and people just, they, they don't care, they don't think we're anything. I think it just puts a chip on all of our shoulders, and we just want to be the best. 
Dominic Mastro, super special, uh, broke a thousand last year and earlier told me that he wants 2K. How important is it for you to make sure that he gets that? Oh, Dom is, he's great. I, he will get it. He will get it this year. He you know? will get it. He will. No question. Hey, man, I'm curious, you know, what are some of your favorite classes? I know school just started. Probably history and English. Those are my, my things. I'm not a math guy, but. All right. <laughs> hey, speaking of history, you know, I know that there's been a struggle in the two state championship games. How do you guys get over that? Uh, we, we just carry it as baggage. We carry it as a, a reminder of what's not to come and what to work harder for. Hey, so I can put uh, JD Johnson on my list of uh, 4,000 yard passers. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> I can put Libyan on my list of uh, 1,500 yard receivers. 1,500. I think he almost did it last year, so yeah. Yeah, so we can that that one's easy. That yeah, checked that's out. Check that one off. Yeah. And we can put Goodlow down for an easy 1,500 on the ground, right? Oh, easy. Yeah. Oh easy. yeah. We lighten up. I the am. Scoreboard. I am asking the right guy, right? Light, lighten up the scoreboard, man. Of course. Of course. Freshman Y'all already know Elevate Academy. Elevate Academy, that's... Yeah, I know, I'm repping. Hey, how do you describe your game? I'm thinking like Kyler Murray. Like, if we were to compare you to, like, you know, a pro player or college player that we've seen, how would you describe your game? Uh, well, I always try to play like Kyler Murray, but I've always looked at Aaron Rodgers, trying to make plays that's his. This miracle plays, you know. And how exciting is it for you to have, you know, another stellar player in your class like Deuce Robinson? Oh, nice. Like, he reminds me of Calvin Johnson so much, and it's just, it's just nice. You know, if you guys get the opportunity to play three years together, what are, what are we looking at? Like, maybe like 100 touchdowns? Yeah, probably probably one of the best duo freshmen that's ever come to school. So. He was going to say, so I had to ask him this question because my man Devin Crawford over there at Cesar Chavez oh, told me that they man, got the best sick. receiving core in the state. I'm just curious what, what you got to say. No, he tough. He's tough. He's tough. Okay. Good game. But, what, but what about you guys over here? Who, who's coming up over here at Pinnacle? Uh, our defense is really stepping up, though, actually. We got Cameron Tardio, Jack Havner. They're locking down. Cam, big, grown up, 6'2", 185, just big man. And he gets to work against you in practice yes, and sir. stuff. Yes, you know, sir. So Getting the defense better. Making him better? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always. What's going to be the identity of this Desert Mountain team now that you're here? I know that you're a defensive uh, mastermind. Of I don't know about all about that, about mastermind, whatever, but we want to create an identity of toughness, discipline, right? Great yeah. As a team, what, what? focused, all that stuff. And that's, that's who we want to be at the forefront. You know, whether it's defensive minded or playing on offense, we're going to be tough. We're going to run the ball, whatever. We're going to be physical. We don't have a lot of the blue chip, you know, all American. Not yet. Kids. Not, Not yet. yet. But. You know, um, we have smart kids. We want to play up to that. Conrad, guys, Conrad creates monsters. Yeah, though. We, we really want our guys to play fast. The way to do that is teach them how to play and how to get there. Um, we're trying to do that. We hired a really good offensive staff. Coach Sigler's one of the top coaches in Arizona, whether he's in college, high school, or coaching the junior college circuit. He's a really good coach. Um, and he's given our offense an identity. You know, same as us, toughness. We'll do some tough RPOs, a little spread game, doing a lot of stuff. But, you know, we're, we're going to utilize what we have and play to our team's strengths and our personals. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this year. We'll see. We're optimistic right now. It's like every coach in the Valley. Hey, I, I mean, every coach in the Valley is 0-0 right now. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I see what you're doing out here right now during practice, and it does seem like you are uh, running some aggressive drills, trying to create a different type of instinct in your kids. I really like this kid, number 12, over here. Uh, I believe he's one of your linebackers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got, you know, Caleb just came in from North Carolina. He's only a junior. He's about 6'2", 195 pounds. He'll play both ways for us. He'll start at tight end at an inside linebacker. Um, does a 
really, really good job for us. You know what? We're just we're finding guys each and every day. Hey, you know, I mean, we're obviously finding. found one. I like this kid, 16. I think his last yeah, name is Jojo Plunkett. Plunkett. Jojo is one of our seniors. He's one of the guys that did play a little bit last year on our team. Ball Hawkins safety does a great job in the middle of the field. Does a good job of stretching the defense on offense. Another one of our seniors, Matt McCray, is a guy that plays both ways. Quarterback, dual threat, and then the start corner for us. Um, we have a lot of good players. Brett Narverson and Caden McGuffey are two of our two of our four captains. They both play both ways, running back on offense and playing nickel and wheel linebacker on defense. Um, physical kids for their size, smart, and just aggressive. You know, they want to be the best that they can be. 4.0 students, both of them. So, I mean, you know, that's kind of what we have. Lathan Ransom's going to Ohio State. Um, and you kind of alluded to that. You put out the tweet that said, hey, there's, there's more coming. Was that something that you actually knew or were yeah, you guessing? I kind of get a little bit of a heads up a couple weeks before they actually commit to the public. So I knew for a little bit. And I was super excited. I'm super excited to play with them. You got any more magician tricks up your sleeve? Anybody else uh, from the state that you're going to try to take with you? I'm hoping we have one more, one more dude from Arizona that I'm trying to get. I need to know who that is. I need to know who that is.